Sell this kicking. Erin's gonna turn and mix from time to time. No stranger to the bottle, eh? Plow it. Plow it all. What are they doing? Play. Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot witches is sterile. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Your band. Chosen some interesting specimens. Interested? How so? Common carousers and roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road, and a few found me themselves. They're company for drink and sport, at least. And ever since I began traveling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as moles. First time I've seen a saber like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Prance about feigning danger. But my saber's a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. Mere sight of it quells the urge to duel in Shaver's eager to face Olkir von Everek, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run-of-the-mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, as common as the club. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? I'll give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. Oh, Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually taking hold. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? Ophiri was a dauphin on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for her lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Ophiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. Hmm. You ever play Gwent? An immortal demands you fulfill three wishes, and you've the gall to propose a round of Gwent. Afraid to lose? No problem. I'll find someone else. I believe that's the worst wind-up I've ever heard. Lay out your cards.
shite. Not much I detest more than losing. Well, my congratulations. This card's yours. Thanks. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish. And talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say? Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand. It's unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. to stick something else in it. Yes, more impertinence. Mark my words. I'll put it in my report. This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner. You're on not allowed. Purpose of your visit. Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vatslav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Poor Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. Afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner! Need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plow and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. Now, stand to attention and shut your giggy. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sut it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, 
Appreciate the help. Twas night. I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimmy. The dear departed about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitists of the Maribor School. Van der Neuve and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. It was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid often horsed a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. <laughs> Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've nae seen the purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little I keep his soul. But Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I collect on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. She egg, white gold, and mother of pearl. Hmm. A giant's. Or maybe a Jotun's. Goblet of fire. Wonder what it is. At a starting price of two thousand. Zeracanian spears. Excellent adornments for any parlor wall. <laughs> Good to know. From the collection of the mage Aramis. Codex Redaniensis. Sole surviving copy. Beautiful. But first blow would shatter them. Yes. <laughs> this one probably also belonged to sorceress. Fetish, maybe. 